The war between Israel and Hamas is having an effect here in the U.S. Threats against Jewish and Muslim Americans are on the rise. Today in Grand Rapids, the FBI and the U.S. Attorney for Western Michigan announced a guilty plea for local anti-Semitic threats. Third on your sides, Josh Albertus was outside the courthouse and he joins us now. Josh, what did they say? Well, even before that increased violence in Israel and Gaza began and, and has continued over the last month, the U.S. attorney said threats like these were already on the rise and they've looked to stop them in their tracks. Well, this is a tense moment. Federal law enforcement ramping up efforts to stave off a growing problem around anti-Semitic and Islamophobic threats. On Monday, the U.S. attorney for the Western District of Michigan announcing a guilty plea from one such threat after 19-year-old Sean Pedela made online threats to at least one Jewish congregation in East Lansing. We will show zero tolerance for hate-fueled acts of violence and threats of violence against uh, anybody based on their race, their ethnicity, their their religion. A new report out last month from the FBI showed anti-Semitic hate crimes increased dramatically in 2022. We were already dealing with anti-Semitism. And now, given the violence in the Middle East, it's an environment that has left local faith leaders with a sense of unease. My partner, Corey, wears his yarmulke everywhere and anywhere, grocery shopping, pizza parlors, etc. And um, a man came up to us and he said, oh, you, you're pretty brave to be wearing that in public. And where anti-Semitic incidents have risen, so have those against the Muslim community. The Council for American Islamic Relations saying Monday they had received over 1,200 requests for help and reports of bias in the four weeks following the outbreak of the Israel-Hamas war. Regarding this issue, it is a very grievous and shocking one, and uh, whole humanity is in the shock. Uh, and taking care of the security. But in Grand Rapids, where no large-scale threats have taken place, leaders of both phase focused on building understanding. God says, I have given the life. Nobody else has got the right to take the life away. So this is the thing that we have to promote uh, and work on it, that uh, we protect the life, not to ruin or destroy the life to come together across phase to have conversations and make a difference. I understand that we might not handle it perfectly. I understand that we're not going to solve any actual Middle East issues, but we can at least come together and try to create a space of healing. And fight back against the shadow of hate. Regardless of faith or culture or religion, we are human beings. And anyone experiencing and looking to report a hate-fueled incident is encouraged to do so by calling 1-800-CALL-FBI or, in the case of an emergency, 911.